Hey, what's up? Today we're doing another uh, stupid video. I can't find the hat that I normally wear or that I have been wearing for the last year or so. I can't find it, all right? The one that I sell on the merch site, I bought myself one a while back. Now I can't find it, so I'm back to the old rule. It's fine, they're both good. Oh, and in case you were wondering where to get those fluffy beanies, here's a shameless plug for my merchandise store. All right, now let's get into this video. This is your stupid number 64, let's do it. Hey, what's up? We'll start with this one right here. Okay, I don't think you loaded that properly. Do you know you're dragging this whatever this is behind your car or was this an incident that happened? This is either like a hit and run like they crashed into a restaurant and they're making a getaway or they're like, I'll just tie that to my bumper and drag it home very slowly. I think they probably tied it to their bumper in an attempt to get it home. But you have like a big car. Put it in the back, I don't understand. This is confusing and yes, not the best way. Something tells me it's not gonna work after making its trip to its new home. Woman who proposed to boyfriend trolled online. You have no self-respect. A woman was excited to share her proposal video on TikTok until online haters tore her apart. Why? Why can't a woman just propose to a man? I would have loved it if my wife proposed to me. It would have taken a lot of the pressure off. I was very, very stressed about the whole proposal, okay? I put a little tag on uh, her chihuahua's ne on Kobe's necklace. Look, Kobe got hired again. Kobe. Kobe, show him you're back in the office. See? He's back. He's been working on his snoring. He's not gonna fall asleep on the job anymore. Anyway, I put a little like, will you marry me thing on his, and then I snuck it on there, and then she saw it, and it was so romantic, I know. Except my speech was crap. I never thought about my speech. That's the one thing I didn't think about. I thought about everything up until when I was down on one knee. I was just like, marry me? I probably should have said some very meaningful speech, but I didn't really think about it. There's nothing wrong with a woman proposing to a man, all right? We live in the future. Stop trying to live in the past. What did your child have to eat today? A partial collection of objects removed from the upper gut of children by the pediatric gastroenterology service. Oh my gosh. Kids should not be swallowing needles. Oh, batteries. Oh, I need to be keeping a closer eye on my children. So many coins. Apparently that looks tasty to them. I mean, I guess it's Makes sense, it's metal, so when you put metal in your mouth, like as a kid, you're like, mm, it tastes weird. Really, you don't know what you're eating is like, really bad metal and a million people's fingertips. Just dirty, dirty fingers. That's what you're doing. You're just putting a ton of dirty fingers in your mouth. Disgusting. Man, kids are so dumb though, right? Stop eating that kind of crap. That's why I always tell my kids to stop putting their toys in their mouth. They're like, oh, it's so funny. I'm, I'm not going to eat it. I'm like, yeah, until you trip and then you eat it by accident. So I'm at the grocery store. I check out. I'm walking to my car and feel someone hurtily following me. I speed up, change directions, can still see a shadow. I finally turn around. It's my husband. We separated at the store and I forgot about him. Scared the shit out of myself. He's like, why are you running away from me? Okay, it's not funny anymore, okay? And then she like turns around and maces him in the eyes. He's like, ah! This is the worst way to tell someone you ought to divorce. Gina Reinhardt demands National Gallery of Australia remove her portrait. Mining billionaire Gina Reinhardt has demanded the National Gallery of Australia remove her portrait from an exhibition by the award-winning artist Vincent Namatara Tarzra. The image, arguably an unflattering picture of Australia's richest woman, is one of many portraits unveiled. Hey, look, you should be honored that this artist decided to draw you. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and it's not your fault that when he looks at you, this is what he sees. You can't force him to see you more beautiful, okay? I see you as a stunning model. But not everyone in the world can say that. I know nothing about this woman. She could be the nicest woman in the world. But still, it's just a little piece of artwork. Honestly, just be honored. Just laugh at it. You obviously don't really look like that. 
Here's the new Cyber Hammer, $700. I guess this goes with your Cyber Car. This is a new Elon Musk release. I guess. New Elon Musk merch just dropped. $700 for a hammer. Let's read the description. Limited release, ready or not, it's hammer time. Isn't that copywritten? Now available to a wider audience, our limited release Cyber Hammer commemorates the Cybertruck unveiling when Franz used a sledgehammer to show the toughness of the vehicle stainless steel exoskeleton. Designed by Tesla Design Studio and made of steel, Cyberhammer features a laser etching of Fran's signature on the head and makes this piece a true collectible. Only 800 hammers built, available on Tesla Shop and through the Tesla Refer and Earn program. Certificate of Authenticity included, limited one per Tesla account. Note, do not strike hard surfaces with Cyberhammer. Intended for display or gym use, Cyberhammer is final sale. Oh, what? That last little bit got me, okay? It's a hammer that you're not supposed to hit hard things with. When I spend $700 on a hammer, I want it to be able to function as a hammer. I don't care if it's a collectible or not. I want to be able to bash a wall down with that thing if I choose to. Look, it's my collectible. If I want to get angry one day and start bashing the walls in my office down... I want to do it with my cyber hammer that I spent $700 on. No, I don't I don't see any world where I would want to buy that sledgehammer. Just you just must be in love with Tesla if you're buying this kind of merch. Not intended to hit hard things with. There we go, we're covered. If someone tries to use our hammer like a hammer, they'll be fooled. Maybe that's fine print on all hammers and we just don't know it. It's just so fine you can't read it. Oh, and I just saw this photo for the first time, this intimate photo of Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg. Whoa, boys, getting a little close there, huh? And everybody's leaving comments about this like it's so weird, but hey, if they want to be gay for each other, that's fine with me, whatever. If these two guys ended up getting gay for each other and getting married, just think about it. Think of how powerful that couple would be. That would be the ultimate power couple. So powerful. Ooh, getting goosebumps just thinking about it. We all know they're both aliens, okay? And they probably are in love because on their planet, there is no gender. Okay, so someone put out a question asking, why do men feel the need to go through things alone? My first girlfriend got the ick when I cried after learning my childhood best friend had terminal cancer at 21. And then someone replied, I doubt that was it, but okay. Why do men feel the need to go through things alone? Man shares an anecdote about a woman to answer the question. Another woman immediately proceeds to downplay his experience. Absolutely hilarious lack of self-awareness. Seriously though, being self-aware is not a skill a lot of human beings have. That's what I'm realizing as I get older. A lot of people can't self-reflect on themselves. It's a very important skill to be able to look back at yourself and say, where did I go wrong and how can I improve? And that's how me as a human being, I have slowly become a better human being as time goes on. Instead of just going through life thinking I'm completely perfect all the time and never needing to improve, that's just not a logical way to think. You know, if you're sitting there right now and you think you're perfect and you don't need to improve on anything, I'm telling you, you are wrong. I'm sorry, but you're not perfect. And there probably is somewhere in your life you can improve. Actually, if you're a fluffy fan, you are perfect because you're a fan of my videos. And all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, leave a comment underneath, and then you're instantly perfect. Those are the only three criteria to becoming a perfect human being is subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and leaving some feedback or a comment underneath. Yeah. Hold the bad. RFK Jr. said a worm got into his brain, ate a part of it, and then died. And as a result, he now has cognitive issues. And this guy wants to be president? What the fuck is even happening? Oh, boy. Would you be shocked if a conspiracy theorist became president? I wouldn't be. Tomboys are not hot. I repeat, tomboys are not hot. Attraction to tomboys. Tomboys is homosexuality. And women shouldn't be working outside. What kind of man lets a woman work outside like a man? Okay, this is rage bait, right? You can't be that dumb. I feel like this person's inner monologue was typed out loud and then sent as a tweet by accident, you know? Like, this is probably what he thinks in his head all the time, like, Tomboys aren't hot. Men aren't hot. I'm not a homosexual. Just that one time in college, it's okay. People like this, I always just think they're going through an internal struggle. Like, he's probably a little bit gay. He probably thinks tomboys are hot and he has to put this stuff out there in the world to 
feel like he's combating his inner thoughts. Don't fight it, man. Just be gay, you'll be happier. When you're literally an astronaut and the situation tries to mansplain space to you. Jessica Meir, my first venture, 63,000, the space equivalent zone where water spontaneously boils. Luckily, I'm suited. Uh, wouldn't say it's spontaneous. The pressure in the room got below the vapor pressure of the water at room temperature. Simple thermo. Why aren't you in space then, man? Huh? I guess you're also an astronaut. That's why you're posting shirtless posts. She's an astronaut. So just keep your opinion to yourself, okay? Do you think she saw that and she's like, Oh, actually, you're correct. I'm just gonna jump out of the window now because I know nothing. You have unraveled my knowledge. I don't think I belong in space now. I'm just gonna pull this ripcord that shoots me out of the spaceship. I hope they don't actually have one of those in a spaceship. That would be problematic. Controversial, but if I work a full-time job, I should be able to live in a one-bedroom apartment by myself and not starve myself to make rent. Okay, someone's dreaming here. Someone's living in La La Land. Wait, you live on Pluto? This is Earth, right? We're not allowed to be happy. You know, that's such a sad statement I just made there. We are allowed to be happy, okay? I find I'm mostly happy. I mean, always stressed. Always gotta be stressed. But happy at the same time. Here's a video of a girl laying down in the back of a car. And uh, at first I was a little concerned, but then you see that she's like toe tapping to the music. I can't show you the music because it's obviously gonna be copywritten. But yeah, she's jamming. She's jamming to the music. I wonder if she was just tired and she wanted to lay down. I just hope she wasn't like roofied or something and shoved in the back of a truck and she's like, this is the best time of my life. If I had a woman's leg sticking out of the back of my truck, even if I wasn't doing anything wrong, I would not stop for gas. I guess if you have to stop for gas, you have to, but I'd be like, you gotta tuck your legs in, okay? I don't want people thinking I'm driving around with a body in the back of my truck. Car. It was a car, not a truck. But she's having a good time, you know? You gotta just, like, tell them every once in a while, like, look, someone's filming. Can you, like, toe tap, move your feet around a little bit, jam to the, so they know that you're happy and not floppy? If you really wanted to mess with them, you just make your legs go limp. Start, like, waking up and frantically f flailing. That's a good way to get questioned by the police. Here's a guy using his drone on a boat, and today we're gonna learn why you don't use a drone on a boat. I thought this was gonna go so much worse. I thought I was gonna like fly up and hit him in the face or like, I thought something bad was gonna happen, but no, he just tossed it up and it plopped in the water. Here's another one. Oh no, no. Oh, I hope it was really expensive. I mean, I hope it wasn't expensive. Well, what did your drone camera pick up? Can we see some drone footage? Probably looks epic, like a shark eating it. Look, today we learned that you don't use drones on a boat, okay? Not while the boat's moving. Maybe while the boat is anchored somewhere, then you could probably use a drone, but while the boat is moving very fast, it's not a good time to use your new expensive toys. Here's a dump truck that forgot that they were still dumping things. They didn't bring their dumper back down. Man, and you sped up. It looked like he was trying to break it off of the truck, and then he just kept going. You're lucky no one was behind you. Did he even notice that he lost it? He was like, wow, someone must have crashed into something. What the hell are you doing, man? Okay, I'm sorry, but Kobe is also grunting. Kobe, you're grunting again, man. You're looking to get fired, bro. He looks scared. He's like, I don't know what to do, man. It's just how my throat works. All right. I guess Kobe's just gonna be grunting in the back. I don't think he's gonna be driving that truck for much longer. Oh yeah, this has been going viral. Uh, so there was this New York City portal between Dublin and New York City where you could go up there and people could see each other live. It was like a window to two different worlds. You know, it was this really cool idea. And of course an OnlyFans model destroyed it for everyone when she did this. I can't show you the video, but she flashed the portal. Yep, and they shut it down because... You know, we can't have nice things. Human beings are the worst. Oh yeah, and then they put the portal back up. They were like, hey, let's try it again. And five seconds later, someone was showing pictures of the Twin Towers. So yeah, I'm not gonna show you that either because it's disgusting. I just, I hate humans, all right? Why are humans just getting worse? Why are there so many bad people? I feel like people are doing it to be funny. It's not funny, all right? Someone just needs to go up with a cyber sledgehammer and smash it because it's not gonna work. It was a great idea and I would love for people to be, 
you know, humane enough to be able to handle something like this, but obviously they can't. We're not mature enough, we're not evolved enough as a human species for something so cool. Here is the schedule. Hey, I think you have the wrong number. Then what is your number? Because I have the blank. That is my number. Okay, then why did you say I have the wrong number? Because I'm not the person you're trying to text. Okay, well, I don't get it. Because you are coming in tomorrow, right? Are ducks birds? Yes, but... How? Warm blood, lay eggs, feathers, beak, wings. By that logic, chickens are birds. <laughs> when your whole world unravels because you realize that there are a lot of different birds in the world. You're like, penguins? Not penguins. Oh, wowie. I guess this is a new AI. Accidentally revealed the source code for their AI image generation model. At a public demo today, it shows a hard-coded six-second timeout and then an existing image simply being loaded from a directory. So what, it's basically like, okay, we're gonna pretend that we're generating an image and then just, you know, throw something up there from uh, something vaguely similar to what they're describing that we already have generated. That's a cop-out, okay? If I found out that the AI generator I was using was doing that, I would feel ripped off. I would feel violated. It's supposed to be a randomly generated image, okay? Random and generated. Those are the two things in it. And we'll end with a few funny videos. Do you ever just try to help your friend who's locked in a bathroom get out of the bathroom and then this happens? Ah, you were so close to helping. Well, I guess you did help. You stood there and you inspired her to hit you in the head with the door. I don't know what the hell's happening here, but I don't suggest anybody does this. Really? Oh, it's a trained bear, okay. Are you giving that bear a treat every two seconds so it doesn't claw your face off? What happens when the bear turns on the driver and just decides he wants to eat him? He's like, you know what? Treats are good, but that's some fresh meat right there. It's super dangerous. I'm telling you, wild animals are wild. They're unpredictable. I don't care how trained that bear is. Shouldn't be driving down the road with it. It's not a good passenger in a car. And here is a man messing with a police dog for whatever reason. He thinks this is a good idea. <laughs> Oh, great. What did you think would happen? You thought they were just gonna let you go? I mean, that dog was just trying to do its job, all right? And he's like, even taunting it while he's going to the ground. Why? What are you trying to accomplish here? I don't understand. Like, you obviously just wanted to go to jail. Were you looking for a warm place to sleep tonight? I mean, if he legitimately said that was the reason, I'd be like, all right, at least you had a reason. You're not as dumb as I thought, but there was probably a better way to find somewhere to sleep. Yeah, I don't know. I just never think harassing police dogs is a good hobby. All right, you got to get a better hobby. Maybe like take up fishing. Knitting would be maybe good. You can knit yourself a sweater. Maybe knit the police dog some little booties to apologize for being such a a-hole to the dog. Anyway, that's the video I have for you today. I tried to do an extra long one here. If you're enjoying all of my videos here, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Leave some feedback in the comments. I'm always open to hearing suggestions and what you liked, what you didn't like. I don't reply to a lot of comments, but I do read a lot of comments. And uh, yeah, other than that, check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash fluffy talks. Get yourself some fluffy merch. Uh, I'm gonna find my fluffy hat, don't you worry, or I guess I'll just have to get another one from my... Anyway, yeah, check it out. We got lots of fun merch over there. I'm cooking up some new ideas too. And also, if you have any ideas for merch, leave them in the comments down below. Also, you can send pictures and stuff to fluffyfanmail at gmail.com, and I'll see you in the next one. Come up to your screen real quick. <gasps> Boop. Bye.